Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be looking at an aspect of technical drawing which is what? Tangency. Now, let's look at this question. The question is telling us we should draw this given figure here. Right? Now what you do, first of all, you're going to draw your vertical and what? Horizontal line. That is the first thing you do. Like this. Horizontal, right, and um, vertical. Are we good? And this is the center point. Now, if you look at this very well, you recall that from this center here to this base here, is from this center here to the other center here is what 45 you can look at the very that is what 45 so i'm going to measure 45 from this point here i'll measure 45 get this 45 here from zero down to this point is 45 right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a faint line at that point too are we good after doing that if you recall that from this center here to this left side here, we're having the total distance here to be what? 70 what? 76. So I'm going to measure 38 to one side and what? 38 to that side. That means from this side to this center here is 38 and from here to this side is what? 38. So that's what I'm going to do now. So my meter rule, I start from zero and I move toward 38 okay somewhere around here then I come to this point I will mark 38 and I mark 38 so that will give me 76 so that again now if you look at it very well at that point it meets we want to know the diameter of this circle because there are many one two three four five and they are the same so look at what it's telling me say we have five buses 20 millimeter 25 millimeter diameter right so what i'm going to do is each of these diameter is worth 25 so i need 12.5 uh, to get 25 each so i'm going to measure 12.5 i'll measure 12.5 this is my meter rule Take it to zero. Measure 12.5. This is 10. 12.5 is somewhere around here. Right? So I go to the center here. I'm going to draw my circle, ticking it. I'm going to draw my circle at this point. And I come to this point too. I'll draw my circle too. Are we good? So the next thing I'll do after those two is that if you look at this circle very well, this two circle, a straight line is joining the base to this base. Right? That's a straight line, it's tangent to it. So how will I do? So this is a circle. I am going to draw a center line there. One long one, one short one. Just like this. Right? I'll come here also. I'm going to do the same thing too. So I'll join this two point where they meet. I'll take one. So I've done the first thing here. Right? So if you look at it very well, 
The next thing we are doing again is that it's telling me from here to here is 76, which I've done. Now, it's not telling me also that the remaining circle falls on an arc. Can you see this arc? And the arc here has a radius of what? 60. So I'm going to measure the radius of 60 from the center and I'll draw an arc. So, measuring my radius of 60 from 0 to 6. So I'll place it at this center point. Then I'm going to draw an arc. So this, 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 this. That's the first step. Then, um, if you look at it very well, at this point here, the other circle. Don't forget that they all circles they have the same diameter, which is 20, 12 uh, 20, 25. Right, so I'm going to draw this here. So where it meets is the center of this. So I'll draw that first. Knowing fully where that they have they are the same circle. So I'll take the radius of this. And I'll come to this point. I'm going to draw my circle. Right? So, so I'm going to do this. And another one here. Now, it's still remaining two. Which is this two? Remaining these two. And this two is at an angle of what? 15 degree to the center point here. Right? Mm -hmm. So, if I place it there, I'll be having the 15 degree. So, from this center, this is 10, 20, this is 15. Hmm? The same thing too. This is 10, 20. This is 10, and this is what? 15. This is also 15. So, when I do that, I need the 15 degree. So, I'll just join from this point. Straight to this point. And from this point, straight to this point. So that will be my 215 degree here. So the angle between here and here is what? 15 degree, same thing here. So I can draw my circle at that point. So we know very well that it is having the same radius with the rest circle. So I'll place at this point where they meet. And I'm going to draw my circle. I'll place at this point where they meet. And I'm going to draw my circle. Right? So I've successfully brought out my five circle. Now the next thing I want to do is to draw this curve that is tangent to each of the circle. So this is how, this is how I go about it. Now you know very well that the radius of this circle mm, is 12.5. Radius is equal to what? 12.5 of the circle. All of them this way. Right? And the rest of this one is also what? 12.5. Everything is 12.5. So, but if you look at this very well, it's telling me that the radius of this arc here you're seeing here is 40. Right? That means every arc is 40. So, what I would do is this. This is like a pothole, a hole. And when you see a hole, what do you do? You fill in the hole. So, filling the hole means you are adding. I'm going to add my 40, radius of 40, and the radius of this circle, which is what? 12.5. So in doing that, let me add that. So I'll have my R40 plus my R12.5, and that'll give me R what? Um, 52.5. 52.5, right? So I'll measure 52.5 with my meter rule. 52.5 from this point to this point here. Right? 
and I'll place it here. If I place it here, if I strike an arc here, hmm, strike an arc here, I'll come to the next point here also. I am going to strike another arc. So where they meet, I'll come here too. I'll strike an arc here. Go to the next point too. I'm going to strike another arc. I'll come here too. I'll strike an arc here. I'll go to this point too. I'll strike another arc to cut it. I'll come here too. I'll strike an arc here. I'll go to the next point here too. I'll strike another arc. Why I'm doing that is because of what? I realize that every point here, every circle has the same radius. And all the radius of the arc here is what? The same. That's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. So what will I do? If I place my compass here, Mm -hmm. And I take it to this point here. I'll get my what? My hack here. This way. To be tangent. All good? That will help. I come here also. If I do the same thing, I place it here. I also have my same hack too. Can you see that? If I come here too, I'll do the same thing. I'll gauge it and see that they are touching. So once they are touching, then I'll draw my arc also. So, I'm going to touch the tail. Right? I'll come to the other point too. I'll do the same thing. I'll gauge it and ensure that it's touching through. And I'll strike an arc. So this is what I'm going to do. So after doing that, the next thing I'll just do to check very well is that we have two circles in the center here. One circle is inscribed in the other circle. So the, first, the outside one is what? 50 diameter. So I'm going to take half of which is the radius, which is with what? 25. I'm going to measure 25 on my meter rule. This is 25. At this point, I'll come here. I'm going to draw my circle. Then the other one, you look at it very well. The inner one is what? Diameter 32, so I have 16 radius. So I measure my 16. And I'll place it here. And I'll draw. So in doing that, I have successfully brought out the shape. Now what I'll do is to write in my dimension. That taking so I will draw what is needed. So, this is the shape that we need. So, one long one, short one, long one. So, the center lines. Here also, so I'll show this too. Here too. Here also, so you put in your dimension, whatever you see, there you do. 
Thank you very much.